Some ice cream. Squirrel Stampede! 2020! Please like! And Squirrel Live! On the series! On the table today, we are going to be checking out Pokemon Sword and Shield Rebel Clash figure pack. We've got Score Bunny, Grookey, and Sobble figures included. Awesome! Also, I have to fix a major blunder. For some reason, in the last Rebel Clash card opening, I missed some of the most important cards on video. I accidentally cut it wrong, and I missed like two minutes of really awesome cards, including V cards, Cinderace, and even my first look at a Squovet. How did I do that? A Squovet? What? So we're going to go back in time and look at that take that I missed and see some really cool cards and the cards of this pack and figure. So let's start opening and see what we can find. Okay, squirrels, meet Score Bunny, Grookey, and Sobble, included in this Pokemon Sword and Shield figure collection pack, and a few packs of Rebel Clash, and of course up close with an exclusive Pikachu card. Three friends ready for adventure! When Pokemon friends and first partners stand together, the road to adventure is clear. Expand your collection with a beautifully sculpted showpiece figure for your desk or home, plus a full art foil card featuring Pikachu to add to your collection. Wait, Grookey, Sobble, and Scorbunny are stuck together? I did not see that coming. Let's get these out closer. Okay, so inside the box we are with three figures that I thought were standalone are now glued together. Uh oh, whoops. At least they look pretty cool though. I was wondering why Grookey was standing on that weird rock base, thinking, well, Scorbunny and Sobble don't have one. But sure enough, they are all glued together in a really pretty cool pose, I could say. Maybe you could pry them apart. Scorbunny might be the one to be least stuck on top. And Sobble over here. I was really hoping to have independent figures, seeing that the other toy companies are so slow at Sword and Shield toy release. They are pretty cute though, and since the pack has so much more, I'll forgive it. The other main feature of this pack would be the full art foil card featuring Pikachu with Score Bunny, Sobble, and Grookey behind him. Love the quality of this card. Feels a little heavier than normal, nice and solid. Great artwork all around. Makes this figure collection pack worthy to seek out for. Now apparently I am not very observant today. First thinking that these figures would be all standalone, and then thinking that all the packs would be Rebel Clash, but it turns out there's only two Rebel Clash packs. And then we go back in time a little bit with Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising, and Sun and Moon Eclipse. Let's start with one of the Rebel Clash packs and see who's inside. Start off with some energy. Full heel, training court, Dublade, Squovet. We'll see Squovet again later. I can't believe I messed Squovet up. It's Squovet, people. And Mr. Mime, Caterpie, Barboach. Have I seen this one yet? I don't think I have. An Aracuda, and a Reverse Shuckle. Oh my gosh, we might have a V card behind him. This is kind of cool. I didn't expect this for today. <gasps> A Cinderace V-Max? Oh, what? Oh my goodness, that is cool. I did not expect that. Whoa, I did not expect getting any V-Max cards. A V-Max card in this pack today. So now it's completely, completely worth it. A Cinderace V-Max. Whoa, look at the art. Look how red and purpley, shiny, spacey this looks. Oh, that is so cool. And it will time well with the time travel in a minute from the card that I missed in the last opening. Okay, so let's open up the other Rebel Clash card pack, see what we can find. Cinderace VMAX, I can't believe it. This looks like more of a common pack. We've got some energy. Olina, Luxio, Draclok, Lotad, Growlithe, 
Roly coly. I might have just spoiled what's in the back. Metatite. Grubbin. Growlithe reverse. I always like Growlithe. Growlithe is awesome. And Amanda Buzz. So not the most exciting finish there. Alright then, well, let's go back in time. I really don't know which came first, Cosmic Eclipse or Guardians Rising. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Cosmic Eclipse, I think. Alright, we'll start off with Old Energy. A Torkoal. An Ampipom. Lana's Fishing Rod. Deerling. Teddy Rusa. Gorlet. Or Golet, sorry. Dewpider. Oh, that one's pretty neat. I did not find many of these, so some of these are really cool to me, new to me. Heliopetile. Flareon. Ooh, that one's really cool in reverse, too. And I see something shiny back here. This is an Oricorio GX card. Whoa. Weird. Look how colorful this is. Dance of Tribute. Look at the purple. Look at the shine. So they nicely included some really nice VMAX and GX cards in this pack, maybe. And one more pack to open. This is Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. I don't believe I opened any of these before. Okay, so we've got Energy, Choice Band, Meetang, Cliffable, awesome. Slowpoke, even better. Stuffle, I like it. Salandit, that's familiar from before Mudbray. Okay, I think I've seen some of these too. A Reverse, Comfey. I like how this reverse looks, the pink. Looks good. Looks like the Rebel Alliance symbol down there. And an Oricorio. Whoa, that's funny. So we've got just a regular Oricorio card and a GX Oricorio card today. That's funny. Was that planned? Did they plan this? I don't know these packs very well, apparently. And there would be the best cards pulled from the Sword and Shield figure collection pack. A Cinderace VMAX. There we go. What a card to find today. And a few other cards I think we may or may not have pulled yet will be fun to check real quick later. And of course a Squovet. You always have to have a Squovet included. Still looking for a Greedent though. And of course the strange combiner figure of Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble. I think the pack was well worth it. It runs $20 and we had some super fun with it today. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in time to the Pokemon Sword and Shield Rebel Clash booster box where I forgot some very critical cards in my opening. Somehow I cut that take out of my video. You probably saw at the very end me throwing down some really cool cards and going, um, why didn't you show those, including the school vet. So let's get to those cards. This is a take from a few weeks ago and see what I pulled. Here we go. Energy, horror energy. Papa Toad, more Grim, Shinx, Sandy Gast, Roly Coly, Stunky, Clefairy! A Clefairy's here finally! Did we see a Clefairy last time? I don't know. Pellet Piper, ooh, reverse. Pellet Piper, Mr. Rhyme, oh how funny, always like Mr. Rhyme, right? Energy, a Heracross, a Capacious Bucket. Turfield Stadium, Dreepy, Galarian Farfetch'd, Haunted, I can never say that right, Troxel, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime is here, Electra Buzz, I have a friend who likes Electra Buzz, and look at there, it is reverse negative, uh, Spirit Tomb, Energy, Carcoal, Hat Trim, Pokeball, Snover, Pido, Galarian Daramuka, a Hatina, a Scyther, there he is a set again. Here's a reverse Heracross, looking good. And an SQ, is that how you say that, an SQ? Hollow, Energy, Full Heal, Training Court, Dewblade, Voltorb, Nose Pass, Wingle, Phantom, Bronzor, a reverse Corsola. Oh, there's that sad one again. I'm sad. Barascuta again. Energy. Lombre. A hat trim. Cursed shovel. Troxel. Aplin. Aplin. Galarian. Daramuka. Bunnelby. Vulpix. Aplin. <gasps> Whoa, there's something amazing. A Cinderace V card. 
Oh wow, now that's going to be a little bit contested over in the family, very popular. Oh my goodness, look at this card. Look at the fire and then the blue sky behind it, how the contrast, what a card. Oh my, that is a find, the find of the day so far I think in our family. Very nice. Energy, Lampens. Halucha used Halucha a lot. Morgrim, nose pass, wingle, coughing, bronzor, troxel, Morgrim. Not bad, reverse Morgrim. Oh, another V card, Eldegoss. Oh my goodness. I think I may have mentioned before, this one really creeps me out actually. I see egg sack more than I see a uh, weed flower thingy flying through the air or whatever it's supposed to be. But there you go, another V card. Very cool. Look at how it just kind of reflects the light in stripes in a way. Nice. Very fun. That's a good one. Energy. Phalanx. Palpitoad. Capture Energy. Phantom. Farfetched. Squovet! 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 We found it! We knew there was a Squovet somewhere! Oh my goodness! Ah! This is amazing! Why did it take so long to get a squirrel vet today? I almost forgot we were looking for a squirrel vet! Oh, this is amazing! Squirrel vet is here! He or she is burying some sort of squirrel vet berry into a log. Oh, happy day! We love squirrel vet here for some reason. Must be a little rare. I'm really surprised we haven't pulled squirrel vet yet. Maybe we'll just start pulling a ton of them. Put that aside. Mr. Mime! A caterpie! Troxel again, reverse. Oh, and there's something else. A double V card. How about that? Double's here. It's funny, the hologram isn't as pronounced on the main body of double, but behind you can see the flashiness of this rare card. Or how rare are these? I can't remember the scale of rare. But there is double. Very cool on that group of cards. And there again is the Cinderace V card. Now together with the Cinderace VMAX card. How did I theme up those two cards together in one video? I don't know. And of course we can't forget to show off Dubwool one more time V card. Dubwool looked great. And I had forgotten the Eldegross too. Eldegoss, not Gross. Again, this one scares me. It looks like a spider's egg sack. Then two more cards to share. I threw these up on an Instagram Live a few weeks back. There is a Snorlax VMAX card we pulled. How awesome is that? And we'll finish off with a Torkoal V card. So a lot of cool V cards out there still to find. Really shocked we found a couple cool ones today, even when they're a little bit old school. And that is the Pokemon Sword and Shield figure collection pack with Scorbunny, Grookey, and Sobble figure and several cool packs. That was a fun opening, I enjoyed it much. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate your excitement. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs>